Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about CLC Son because she did an oopsie. <laughs> On December 19th, she posted and deleted this photo. Notice anything strange? One of her friends at the back was spotted wearing a racist caricature mask and oh boy were K-pop fans not having it. She added more fuel to the flame when she uploaded an Instagram photo of herself and she wrote, Sometimes, some people just gotta chill. I'm not stupid. Fans were more offended and disappointed because of the Instagram story since it made it seem like she really didn't care, even though she knew her actions were wrong. Because of this, she trended worldwide on Twitter. One fan posted a screenshot on Twitter that showed the Instagram story was posted at around 6 o'clock, while the racist photo was posted at 7 o'clock, meaning that the Instagram story was posted before. But this was quickly debunked when the real times were released. However, none of that matters because Son herself said this. That was a post I posted of me ranting about something else, which has nothing to do with this situation. Sorry for the confusion. Wow, talk about bad timing. Randy, the friend who was wearing the mask, apologised first, then Son, then Randy again. Here's what they said. My deepest apologies to everyone that I offended. It was insensitive and culturally inappropriate. I am now realising the gravity of my mistake and will take this time to reflect on my actions and learn from this incident. Please refrain from hurting others as I take full responsibility for my actions. Hey everyone, in light of recent events I sincerely apologise for my actions. Specifically I am sorry for being culturally insensitive and in no way was I trying to intentionally offend anyone. In hindsight I am realising how this photo could have offended others. I am genuinely sorry and will reflect upon my mistakes. I am not asking for anyone's forgiveness but I am writing this message to say that I know how much people are hurt by the picture I posted last night. I understand that people are allowed to feel and I am in no way expecting the people I offended to forgive me. Sorry guys and I'll make sure it doesn't happen again in the future. Sorry for disappointing you Cheshire. I wanted to take a minute to shed some light on what happened. Not as an excuse, but as an explanation. Firstly, as a person of colour, I am against discrimination of any race, period. There was no racist intent towards anyone whatsoever. I was at a shop in Hyundai, grabbed the mask without thinking, and wanted to cover my face because of a pimple. As silly of a reason that is, that's the truth. I didn't think twice about it. Again, I am sorry to those who may have thought I wore the mask for a different reason. Fans did a quick Google search and it turns out that the mask is a Halloween mask of the famous golfer Tiger Woods and there are many other celebrity masks just like this but the question remains the same, is it still racist? Just like everything else on the internet, opinions are going to be divided, some people think it's racist while other people think it's not. Tiger Woods has faced many racist comments and actions throughout his golfing career because of the colour of his skin and that caricature of him is an example of it. Many public figures have comical masks out there made for them actually. I don't know, maybe this is racist. It depends on how it communicates to you and the intention of the person wearing it, I think. Walk people don't bully people. The word racist is being thrown around too loosely and fake walk people are diminishing what true racism is and what it looks like. And for your information, anyone who has brought up Tiger Woods to me in real life, I was always proud to claim he's half Thai and half black. For those who don't know, Tiger Woods' mom is originally from Thailand. She is a mix of Thai, Chinese and Dutch ancestry. And it's reported that his dad is of African American, Chinese and Native American descent. A caricature is a rendered image showing the feature of its subject in a simplified or exaggerated way through sketching, pencil strokes or through other artistic drawings. Caricatures can be insulting or complimentary and can serve a political purpose or be drawn solely for entertainment. Caricatures of politicians are commonly used in editorial cartoons, while caricatures of movie stars are often found in entertainment magazines. 
So basically what this art style is, is that it makes small features smaller and big features bigger. It's just for fun and it's quite popular. You can also see normal people paying artists to do this. It wouldn't be a big story if it was just about caricatures. This also links with blackface. So what is blackface? Let's have a look at the most trusty website and the one that you're using to do your homework on. Wikipedia. So it says here, blackface is a form of theatrical makeup used predominantly by non-black performers. By the way, I want to remove that word predominantly because it was only non-black performers. To present a caricature of a black person. This practice gained popularity during the 19th century and contributed to spread of racial stereotypes. In the United States, blackface had largely fallen out of favour by the turn of the 21st century and is now generally considered offensive and disrespectful. Since it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, did you know that the movie Grinch has a white character in blackface? Blackface can still be found today, especially in countries where the issue isn't discussed. And unfortunately, Korea is one of them. Gag shows often use blackface as a part of their comedy skit. And with the ever-growing popularity of K-pop, more people are calling companies out for their bullshit. Just like in 2017, KBS included blackface in their comedy skit. Did I just say KBS? I meant SBS. KBS does so many dumb shit. <laughs> and so SBS had to apologise and said that they will never do this again in the future. And that's what's so important of calling people out the right way and educating them. When it comes to topics about race and racism in K-pop, fans are allowed to feel upset and offended and disappointed. But I'm not going to tell you that you have to accept an apology and I also don't think it's right for people to say, well, I'm black and I didn't feel offended. Okay, you didn't, but there are other people that will. And if they ever choose to not support a group and not support a idol because of this, it's understandable. What's not understandable is death threats, because no matter how angry you are or how disappointed you are, it doesn't justify bullying. And that's what Son is getting at the moment. Fine, if you're upset by the issue... And if you really care about the issue, stop supporting CLC. Personally, and this is just my opinion, I truly believe that this was a mistake. I don't think she went out of her way to insult people. I also don't want this incident to be what CLC is known for. Since this group has grown so much with confidence and has used their voice to inspire other people, they talk about stuff like consent, female empowerment, which is a growing topic in K-pop but it's still not fully there and the fact that they do talk about it is such a huge thing. They've also done events for charity and just helping other people out. Now I'm not saying just because they've done so many good things that they'll never make mistakes. Of course they'll make mistakes, they're human, but that doesn't make them the devil just because they make one mistake. You can't just automatically forget everything they've ever done. Now I'm just going to leave it with one last message. If you have a pimple, just use Facetune. <laughs> okay that's all for me today I hope that you have a good day and thank you for watching